Today, I'm going to read from the book, Thomas and the Treasure. Thomas and Friends. We have to finish the story, this story in this book. Seeing the sights. There are lots of wonderful sights to see on the island of Soder. One summer day, Thomas was given a very special job. Thomas, said Sir Tom Ham Hyatt, you are to collect some very important visitors from the mainland. They are arriving at Bendem Docks. Yes, sir, tooted Thomas happily. I will show them all the sights on Sador. Now he's going to show them all these wonderful sights. Soon Thomas arrived at the Scottish castle. Everyone out. Oh, let's see. We missed a page, I think. Yes, we did. Thomas puffed happily toward Brendam Docks. Thomas pulled up at the gang plant. Welcome aboard, he tooted. I will show you all the wonderful sights of Sador. Just then, Gordon steamed in. I should be showing the sights to the important visitor, he sniffed. Why, huffed Thomas, because we wished Gordon. I could show them round much more quickly than you. Then they would see everything and there is to see so much on Sador. Thomas was cross. I can show them all the sights just as quickly as you can, he whistled. Just you wait and see. Thomas heard passenger cars doors slam. Everyone's on board, he thought, and he chuffed chuffed away as quickly as he could. So much to see, so much to see. Let's get on a move. Count on me. Then there was trouble. Thomas had left some of the visitors behind. But see, he didn't know about that he had left these behind. Later, Thomas had to wait at a signal. Bertie the bus drove up and he picked up the visitors Thomas had left behind. Bertie honked his horn, but the signal had changed, and Thomas puffed away. Thomas was in a hurry. Silly tank engine par parked Bertie. I will have to chase after you. The children on board, Bertie thought a ch chase was great fun. Thomas arrived at Black Lodge. Everyone out to see the seals, he tooted. Hurry up, hurry up. So he was hurrying everybody to see everything. The visitors took their cameras to see Black Lodge. Thomas had to wait. He didn't like waiting. He had to show the visitors all the sights. Otherwise, he thought, I won't be as fast as Gordon. Time to go, he peeped loudly. Thomas heard a passenger car door slam. Everybody must be aboard, he thought, and Thomas chuffed away as fast as he could, but Thomas left more of the visitors behind. Again, he left them. Oh, my goodness. Soon Thomas arrived at the Scottish castle. Everyone out, he peeped. Hurry up, hurry up. Then Thomas had to wait again. He wished some steam, and he hurried, started to worry. We'll never see everything if we don't hurry. Thomas whooshed everyone back on board, please. Just then, Gordon steamed in. Flatten my funnel, sniffed Gordon. You haven't seen my many sights. Yes, we have. We're going to see more, huffed Thomas. He was cross. He puffed away as quickly as he could, but more of the visitors were left behind. Thomas steamed into the fishing village. Here the next sight, he puffed, everybody out, please. But Thomas couldn't hear any passenger cars' doors opening. He was puzzled. Just then, Bertie arrived. What happened, asked Thomas. No one's getting out, Thomas, beeped Bertie, because no one is left on board. Thomas was surprised. See, here he was, this is the bus. That's Bertie. He, because no one was left on board, Thomas was surprised. Cinders and ashes, gasped Thomas. You were in so much of a hurry, you left them all behind. T 
Thomas was upset. I must go back and pick everyone up. But first he collected the visitors from Bertie's the, Bertie the Butts. And he steamed back to the castle. He picked up his passengers, puffed and quickly back to the back black lounge. With all the visitors on board, Th Thomas set off again. Thomas had to stop at a junction. He looked at the view in the sea. It was beautiful. I wish we could just stay here all day, Thomas wished. There was so many things to do. The vid visitors looked out the windows. Their faces smiled when they saw blue, the blue sea and the golden yellow sand. Suddenly, Thomas had an idea. We will stay here all day, he whistled. The visitors had a lovely time making castles and riding donkeys and eating ice cream. Thomas was very happy. You won't see all the sights eating ice cream, snuffed Gordon. It's better to see one place properly than lots of places in a hurry. Thomas chiffed happily and all the visitors agreed they had a lovely time. Thank you for listening for this story of Thomas. This is the last story in this book, and I hope you have enjoyed it. God bless.